How can we change the state that we're in immediately? What's happening Achievers? Ajit Sidhu here from Invincible Achievers. Just a quick morning uh, call, just to quickly go through a few things on how to change your state. As we all know, the state that we're in will control the day that we're going to have. If we're in a peak state, we wake up happy, we're grateful for life, we, we, we're, we're, we're ecstatic that we're still alive, then your day is going to be completely different to if you wake up grumpy thinking, oh my gosh, it's whatever day it is today, oh man, gotta go to work, and you're trudging along in the traffic, rather than thinking what's great about life. Now, there's three ways that I've learned from Tony Robbins on how to actually change your state with immediate effect. The first one is movement of body. The way you move, will define your day. If you are slumped over with your shoulders, looking down, feeling grumpy, using your 80 muscles of your face in a way that is just stagnated, not moving it at all, then you will create the electricity inside of you that will be of a down, depressed, upset mode. But if you're moving with motion and excited about life and you're thinking about the greatness and you wake up and do, I do this, I wake up, do press ups, do sit ups, move my, a stretch. You have gotta move. The electricity that starts flowing through your body creates energy. Now, once energy is uh, moved, you, you could just go for a walk. You could just do a little jog. You could just do some kind of breathing to increase the heart rate that will create the energy. This is the biggest one change that, this is the main thing that you need to change to change your state. If you're ever in a poor state, it's basically, if you look at your physiology, it's gonna be in a way that's gonna be creating depression, creating anger, creating upset. But if you're in joy, if you're, if you're happy, you're in a motion of joy, then the, the, the way your body is moving, the way your body is, is gonna be creating the joy. And you will realize if you're in a Disney or if you're running in the park or if you're exercising in the gym, your happy serotones are being released in your body. And the reason why all of that is happening is because movement, motion creates emotion. Now, once we've figured that out and we create that, we're aware of how we're moving our body. Then we go to the second thing, which is what we focus on, the inner world. So now we've, we've changed the outer world, now we're gonna focus on the inner world. Once we've gone in, inside of our mind and we're thinking about what we're focusing on, are we asking ourselves, are, are we focusing on the negative or the positive? Are we focusing on the fact that it's raining outside and it's cloudy, or are we focusing on life that's being poured down onto us and the flowers are growing. We're in a place where there's greenery rather than in a hot desert. Yes, there's, there's places where there's sun and there's a beach and it's, it's beautiful like uh, Dubai and Hawaii. Yes, there's there, but that's the destination that we aim for to go, for, to have a break from, the, from just our normal routine. However, if we're focusing on the clouds, and I always say this to my son, I always say, look up, what do you see? And he says, clouds, rain. I said, well, that is actually giving life. Because of the rain, the clouds, London is the, one of the most rainiest and cloudiest cities in the world. But we have a financial sector, we have life, we get to enjoy all seasons. We get to, in summer, get to experience hail, wind, sh um, shower, it drops down in temperature one day, and the next day it's, it's hot. We get to experience everything. How exciting is that? Now, that's the focus that we should be going upon. And now, I am not a saint in any way. I do fall into the, the traits of the negative traits, but you have to catch yourself. That's the key. You catch yourself when you're going to down that route. This is the reason why I have an office in the gym, so I can create my movement. I can start boxing the bag. I can start doing um, pull-ups over there. I can start jumping on my trampoline. I can pick up some weights and then I'm back in. But then once I've done that, my focus starts going on the positive to what needs to be done. How, what can I learn from the situation that's happened? How can I move things forward? How can I grow? Once that is done, then the third part is the language that we're using. 
language that we use in our daily life will create the focus, which will create the movement that we have. Now, we all know people that on a regular basis in their language use profanity in their words and don't, they use language that's not appropriate. Now, if those people are using that, those words on a regular basis and they're gonna go for a job that is gonna be worth 100,000 pounds and they're gonna need to be talking to customers, do you think they will get it? Yes, they'll be able to act for a while, but if it's their language that they use, then do you think they'll get it? I learned this part from Robert Kawasaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad. He basically said his rich dad t t uh, told him that if he wants to be in the world of business and real estate and investor investment, he has to speak the language of investment. Now, my brother's a doctor. When he starts speaking about medical terms, I do not understand it. Most people in this world do not understand it, but he is a great doctor and he knows the words, the languages, the, 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 the words that they use. My other sister, she's a solicitor. Now, when I start speaking, uh, when I speak to her about legal terms, she goes into a legal language, a legal world, which most people don't understand. But her, what she does, it, it, people do understand. And that's why she's great at it, because she understands it. Now, my wife and my other sister, they're teachers and they're the best kind because they teach children and we understand how children speak and we and I understand that level of uh, uh, conversation. So I'm able to understand that. But when they're speaking, they speak at a slower rate. They make sure their understanding's there because they're teachers. Are you getting this? So if you want to be whatever you want to be, whatever you want to achieve, you want to achieve, you got to learn the language, you got to study it and you got to become it. And once you start studying it, becoming it and learning it, you start focusing on it. And once you start focusing on it, you start moving like them. Another example is the type of body that you want. Copy those athletes, watch uh, Olympics, watch the sports. If you want a lean body, quite a thin lean body, but energy, watch football. If you want those bulky ones like the American footballers, then do what that sport. If you want the, the, the toned up with the, the six pack, then do the MMA fighting or martial arts. If you want to be a bodybuilder, then hit the gym. Hit the gym hard. If you want to have a, a toned uh, uh, ballerina uh, body, then do ballerina. If you want to have the physique of your cardio instructor, then do that. Do that. Copy them, model them. Guys, simple strategies of life is reverse engineering. I've spoken about this uh, previously, but reverse engineer anyone that you want to achieve. Anything that you want to be like or want in life, someone's already figured it out. They've got the secret. Find their information. It's so easy nowadays. In the olden days, you had to go and buy a book go to Waterstones or W. H. Smith, get a book, read their book over and over again to study it. Now, you just download the book, go to Amazon, download the book, buy their course, watch them on YouTube, see them on Facebook. It's everywhere, you can just copy someone immediately. It's the saying I believe is um, getting 10 years worth of information in one year. That's what it is. You can do that so easily just by modeling. It's not copying, model them, model their success, model their behavior, model the way they move, the way they talk, their language, what they focus on, and then, then create your own playing field and create your success. Guys, keep moving forward, keep achieving, and keep spreading the love. And we're just one idea away from changing the future. Take care. Bye.